is Israel. Hey girl, um, I don't hear you yet. So there might be an audio, you might have to click something uh, audio related. I see you, but I don't hear you. It says connecting. I don't hear you yet. I don't hear you yet, but it says you're connecting to audio, so it might take a second. Next question. Next question. You skipped. You, you skipped. Oh, I fucking love this subject. Keep going, Aaron. Keep going. It says, it says that you're muted. Like, oh, unmute. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I got to do it. There we go. There we go. Hey, okay. We can get started. Gangsta Boo in the house. Love the lighting over there. Girl, I'm in the studio. I love, it. I love it. Thank you for joining me on Honey, I'm Home. This show's all about what you're up to during the performance. So I just wanted to say hi to my next guest. This is Gangsta Boo from 361. Um, so you're in the studio right now, so that means you're working on new music? I am. I'm actually about to do a feature for a friend of mine. That's awesome. How many uh, hours per day do you uh, usually stay in the studio? Girl. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't been in a studio during quarantine. I've just been chilling, but typically, like, working on myself, like, eight hours. Wow. Wow. Yeah, quarantine, I mean, now you have, like, way more time, probably, to do music and whatever else than before, because there's literally oh. nothing else going on. <laughs> but during, during this quarantine, I haven't really been um, so focusing on music as much. I've been focusing on other ways to get paid off the internet and shit like that because that's what everybody else been doing so i just been kind of trying to capitalize on that no that's that's really smart making money yes, right now is hard it is hard i can't figure out a way to make money myself so maybe i'm gonna ask you for some tips later <laughs> yeah dude how you doing i'm good i'm good i just want to like kind of check in on people check in on my friends people i know in life and just see what they're up to because it's been a, such a crazy time so um, I just want to know, like, what are you looking forward to when this is all over? Like, what are you, what can you not wait to start doing again? I honestly can't wait to fucking not be scared to get on a plane because I'm not about to get on a fucking plane right now. And I can't wait to do shows again. I want to perform. We was just about to go on tour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have, you can hear me. You can hear me good, right? I can hear you. Yeah. Did you have any shows or tours planned that ha that were canceled because of this? Yeah, the Three Six Mafia tour. Uh, it was wasn't canceled. It was just post. It's been postponed. So I'm supposedly into October. So we'll see. But yeah, we was we had a show um, with Master P and the No Limit, April the fifth, April the tenth. Wow. Yeah. That hopefully that uh, happens later this year. I actually had to, was supposed to perform um, myself in April, and that got postponed to like August. So. Yeah. I don't even know if that's gonna happen. It might not. I think concerts aren't might not happen until 2021. So. That's what I've been hearing. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. It'll be kind of hard to figure it out. But you never know, though. I mean, supposedly. Um, I don't know, cause I got a booking in Atlanta for September. So you really never know. I mean. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. That's true. Yeah, uh, are, you, are you quarantined by yourself or are you staying with like roommates or friends or anybody? I'm actually solo. I'm solo, but I, um, I practice social distancing and stuff like that, but I'd be lying if I said I've just been solo the whole time. I got a friend that I visit. So I've been around like a couple people. You know what I mean? I'm not, I can't, I don't want to have a phobia. Oh my God, I can't be around this person. I can't be around that person. It's weird. You know what I mean? I, I, think long, I think as long as you know, like, whoever, the yeah, person, mask, you know. as long as you stay safe, the mask, you wash your hands, and you know the person that's coming over, like, hasn't really been out and about, then you're probably fine. Yeah, exactly. So, I visit a friend of mine, a couple of them, actually, you know what I'm saying, and just that type of shit, but now nah, I'm solo. I sleep alone, I live alone, so... I'm so are, there any, are there any hobbies that you like started doing during quarantine that you never did before? Like something that you never thought you would do that you just started? Yeah, sliding in DMs. 
started sliding in DMs, girl. Like how, like how I slid in yours, huh? To get this. <laughs> I said, I'm let's slide. Yeah, man. It's, are, are you like binge watching any shows or doing anything like just spending your time watching um, or whatever else? <laughs> I have been binge watching some shows, but not too much though. I really just been really focusing on um, creating different uh, avenues to make money um, off my website and stuff like that. Yeah, I know you're honestly, and honestly, let me say this to be honest, um, and just connecting with fans on a different level. Like I'm, I've started video chatting uh, on my Instagram, so it's, it's like a split screen like this. Or I, um, uh, I started um, doing virtual meet and greets. I started doing uh, ads. So I've been doing shit like that, um, and just being more open to the universe for whatever it has in store for me. All great things like that. Like, cause I'm single, so definitely open for love you know <laughs> so i've been kind of like got my arms got my eye on someone you know what i'm saying kind of slid in his dms and shit like that you know what i'm saying that's well the, the cool happy. thing the cool right. thing i wake about, up to good morning texas now so i'm happy oh that's cute and i was gonna say the good thing about um sliding in someone's dms right now during quarantine i actually think it's kind of cool because you can get to know each other before you actually like meet up in person and mm -hmm. that's how you build a stronger bond so when this is all over and you actually decide i'm going to meet up with this guy well you already have some sort of bond versus like oh i don't really know you so that's that's actually yeah. a good thing i think so yeah we're video we video chat a lot so it's fun. I'm Girl, just really if you, just need, if you trying need to think morning, things. If he stops texting you at all, ever and you need a good morning text, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think that he might be my twin flame. <laughs> oh, I love that. What's your sign? I'm a Leo. Leo, do, what, do you know what he is? A Libra. Ooh, my boyfriend's a Libra. That's a, You got a good one right there because they're very balanced. They're he is balanced, so very level-headed. Like they don't really get mad. So he's so fucking sweet. His voice is so soft. He's so cute, and I'm just like, whoa. So shout out to quarantine. Seriously, have you have you run out of toilet paper yet? No, girl. I don't even know how my people is fighting over that shit. That's weird. <laughs> like nobody wanted food. They just wanted tissue. Dude, have you seen all those crazy videos online where people are actually punching each other over toilet paper? Like, I don't understand. It's literally. Nah, I haven't. <laughs> Wait, you're muted again. What happened? Oh, Sorry. We're good. We're good. Um, so yeah, so quarantine's not treating you too badly then. I mean, you look great. You sound great. Everything's good. I really appreciate that. Now, quarantine has been good. The only thing, I do miss my mom. I miss, you know, because I, I would typically be in Memphis visiting her, um, but I have, oh, during quarantine, I did come up with, well, I don't know if you can fit my own strain, the Gangsta Boo strain, Gangsta Boo OG. It's some weed, so I've been definitely blazing. That looks, blazing so, my ass that looks so good. Is that an indica or sativa? It's an indica, bro. Like, I've used a sativa chick or a hybrid chick, but during this shit, I, I want all the smoke, so I want to be suited. So I'm, it's, 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 I'm an indica girl. I know you're. I know you're technically not allowed to like sell um, cannabis online, but I might have. I wish I could. It <laughs> it, it's it's, a, it's oil. It's a, it's um pre roll um with oil and wrapped in keef. And these are called minis. These are called what well, baby jeters. These are baby jeters, and I got the the XL, which is two grams. So I'm trying to get in the well. I'm in the cannabis mark community. I'm doing it all. <laughs> Do you find yourself smoking or drinking like way more during this quarantine because you just have nothing else to do? You know with? what? Definitely smoking. Um, drinking. Mm, I've always kind of been a drinker, but definitely smoking. And um, you know, at first, let me be honest. Like the first two weeks that shit was going on, I was I was kind of depressed. I didn't know what was going to go. You know, it yeah. was scary. You know, for everybody. You know, the seeing people go to the grocery stores and everything sold out. You're just like, what? So they got the balance now, and I think LA and California is doing very good compared to other places. Yeah. So this this is no better place to be, but like I love being quarantined in California. I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, but drinking, nah, I definitely smoke more a lot, and my depression and anxiety has definitely it was more anxiety than depression, but it was something. But um, it's 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 gone now, and I'm excited. Maybe just ready for to be over, but I, I, I had my days too where I just felt like I, I have some days where I'm like really good I'm fine I'm like perfect I'm good most days and then there's some days where I just cry all day and I can't even explain like what it is that I'm upset about yeah, this is probably PMS 
Yeah, it's like a it's like a PMS even when I'm not PMSing. Like it's just random. Because see, mine's only happened when I'm PMSing, and it happened twice since quarantine. It was bad, but I knew it. I was like, oh shit, like I'm about to come on my period. And I was just bawling. I'm talking about. I was watching a Tyler Perry film. It was happy. It was jokes, and I'm bawling. I'm like, why am I crying? Well, did you hear what Tyler Perry's actually doing right now? So he, because he wants to start shooting movies again, but he's like, you know, it's, you can't really have like a set of people yet. So he actually said that he's like built a bunch of houses like on some lot that he has. It's like some, a lot of acres or whatever. And he's going to start shooting. But what he's going to do is he's going to make sure he makes sure like scans everybody for a fever or whatever before they start working. And then every single person who's healthy and good has to live on this property during the entire shoot. They're not allowed to leave and they can like go to, there's restaurants there, gym and all that. So he's basically going to have all these actors and production people living together for however many months this movie is going to take. I'm here for that shit. I wish he can hire me, goddamn. I'm here for it. And that's why I think this is, I think all of us going to come out on top. I think the world is going to be different, which probably needed to be. And we're going to get adjusted to our new normal and we're gonna keep moving forward i'm looking forward to the day we are moving forward but um i, I was always practicing social distancing anyway i always wash my damn hands i always did the stuff that they tell us to do now i don't understand it but um i'm just ready to to get back on this road man and figure it out we got to do uh shows from behind the glass and the fans out there whatever we got to do let's just do it let's just let's roll let's get this money man we, we need, we need the money man we need the money man we need the money man <laughs> so everything that you're working on right now, do you actually have like a really like a planned date for any releasing of your music? Nah, because I had I clocked out um when quarantine started. I was working on the blueprint um with my boy Dave Hilla, shout out to my boy Dave. But I I, I clocked out, you know, I once the shows got postponed, I was like, Oh, okay, now what? Let me figure out something else. And so I have to be inspired to write. I have to have, you know, all my ducks in one row, my T's crossed, my eyes dotted, and at that time when it first started, everything wasn't set up like that, so now everything is um, coasting, I'm back mentally prepared to go ahead and snap out again, I got so much stuff built up in me, it's gonna be an easy breeze, a beautiful cover girl type thing, but now I don't have a date or nothing right now. I love it, I love the positive vibes, it's really the, the only thing you can do right now is just keep your head up, stay positive, which you are. Yeah, man, you got to, dude. What, else can, what else can we do, you know, it's like, um, Shit, we we intake the poison, we die. So it's kind of like why well, keep poisoning my brain, it's poisoning my thoughts, poisoning my thoughts. Now nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna keep my thoughts positive as much as I can, unless I'm on my PMS, and <laughs> <laughs> and just keep moving forward, man. That's what women, that's what we here to do, man. We super women, so we gotta act accordingly, act like that. I love it. Well, let everybody know where they could find you. Um, anything that you're selling, anything you're doing, let the people know. I appreciate you. This is my first time doing this too, so. You I got it. it. Oh, look at you. So I want to shout out to my group, 3 Six Mafia, uh, DJ Paul. He's doing big things. Juicy doing big things. I want to say what up to Crunchy Black. All of us still doing big things. We're definitely going to still get on the road once all this is over with. Um, my website is gangstaboo.com. I want to shout out um, my team, Isaac, Christina, just everybody in LA, the beautiful Jackie Hollywood. And just I want to tell everybody just to stay focused, stay prayed up. And know that we all in this together. We'll get through this together. But definitely be smart about it. You know, don't be out partying and in the mix. You know, definitely keep your circle small. And hopefully, um, this is a was a lesson for all of us to learn. You know, obviously it was something. And um, yeah, still love the universe. I love the universe. All good things come to us. All good things come to us. I love it. Well, thank you for this exclusive interview. I know you're not a fan of interviews, so I appreciate <laughs> no, you. No, girl. Me. But I, I like you, though. Know, you had dope energy when we um, met but yeah I, I don't like doing interviews i don't know why I just, you know, <laughs> no, I've been I doing so long i just i'm tapped out but i pick and choose and you was one of the chosen so i appreciate you for even thinking of me to have me i i love you so much i really do like your energy and that's why i wanted to talk to you because you, you gave me good vibes when we met as well uh, and hopefully i will be in la soon when this is all over i'm i'm planning on it i'm planning to move there so um, you and where you at you in the bay yeah i'm in san francisco so, it's beautiful. Um, expensive as hell. Expensive out there too. <laughs> it is. That's why I go. That's why I go from my parents' house to my boyfriend's place. I don't have my own place. <laughs> Good for you, girl. I don't I have. I don't have much it. like that. <laughs> Pussy power. And um, yeah, man. Holler at me if you need me. I appreciate this, Jackie. Yeah, I love you, girl. And uh, good luck in the studio. Can't wait to hear the new bangers. I love you too, girl. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Bye, chica.